What's going on, everybody? Today is Wednesday, October 24th, 2012. I'm Kevin Six and Carlino, and this is the sixth episode of my Blizzard All-Star series. Today's episode is going to be all about the tower mechanic and what new element it's actually going to add to the game. Now, specifically, and I've mentioned this in previous other episodes, Blizzard All-Stars is all about fixing the fantasy, making the game a little bit more fun, and also encouraging that early team-based aggression to get the games rolling a little bit quicker. Now, I've said that many a times up, up to this point, but I never really got into how exactly that was going to happen. Yeah, I briefly touched on it, and the mount mechanic is going to help. Uh, the health globe system is going to help, but the biggest factor in encouraging that early team-based aggression is going to be the new tower mechanic in Blizzard All-Stars. So specifically, towers are actually going to have slowly regenerating limited ammunition. So what does this mean? As a tower fires more and more bullets, it's eventually just going to run out. So it actually, if it's firing at a rate faster than it's regenerating, obviously you're going to hit zero. And at that point, the tower just shrinks down to the ground, and you're free to just take it out. Yes, it's still going to be regenerating ammo, so it might pop back up, shoot off one missile, and then drop back down. In which case, you can just freely take the tower out. Why don't we take a little look at a video of Stitches doing the same exact thing. So as you guys can see here, the blue, has, the blue team has actually pushed the bottom lane all the way to the first tier 1 tower. Stitches is kind of just hugging the tower, not really doing much of anything. That tower actually had three bullets, fired one, regenerated one, and then used the rest of them. Now as you can see here, it shrunk down into the ground. It slowly regenerated that last bullet, popped back up, fired it off at the health globe, uh, flag bearer, and then boom, they took it out because it dropped back down. So because of that, Stitches was kind of sort of screwed. They're very early into the game. They've already lost their tier 1 tower. Stitches might die because of this. He's kind of, looks like he's AFK there. Not a big deal, but the point is, this tower is now down very, very early into the game. So think about that. If you team up and you push the lane as a full team of 5, well, you're going to be taking out towers pretty quick. It's going to make things much, much easier, and you're obviously going to have that big advantage. You push the lane all the way down. Well, now you can do things like jungle, take out those jungle creeps, get the neutral teams on, on your side. There's, it opens up many options, and actually I believe I touched on this in last week's episode. So the tower mechanic is certainly going to add a new strategy to this specific game. Now, supposedly there's also going to be five different types of towers. Uh, they are mana, pawn, knight, rook, and then of course the healing pad, which is kind of just like the fountain at the beginning of the base. Um, now I'm not sure if this information is outdated at this point, whether or not it's been changed, not entirely sure. We also don't know what the differences are between them, so I'm just throwing that out there, take that with a grain of salt. Otherwise, I also wanted to mention something very important. Let's say uh, the red team, so Stitch's team, yes, he just lost his tier 1 tower. He can head back to base and actually buy an auto turret, which is, yes, a consumable. So you buy it, you can only use it once, but you can continue buying them. So it works similar to how a ward would work in Dota 2. Um, so you purchase this auto turret, and you can actually drop it in a lane, and it acts uh, very much like a tower. So you can drop it in a lane wherever you'd like, and it just sits there and does damage until it dies. Works out pretty well, especially for that team that's losing towers very, very quickly. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, the last thing I wanted to point out was the actual counter to towers. So yeah, sure, towers do pretty good DPS. Uh, aside from the fact that their ammunition does indeed run out, there's actually a role, a hero role, that is designated to countering towers, and I touched on this uh, in the Hero Showcase episode. This is the Siege uh, role. Why don't we take a look at General Warfield taking out a tower? So as you guys can see here, and you can actually see his actual line of vision, or his range on his attack, he's actually outranging the tower right now, similar to something like Sniper um, with his skill at level 4 in Dota. So he's actually outranging the tower, and he's specifically very good at pushing lanes. So as you can see, he's got a nice little AoE skill here to take out the entire creep wave. He actually drops some mines right now, and these mines are going to help take out the next creep wave. His creep are now coming in, and he's still outranging the tower. So he's doing a really good job. So you actually have to be careful about this because if you actually set up a great team, you get that awesome team composition. You know, the healer, the DPS, the support, uh, the tank. I said he uh, support twice, but the tank and then the lane pusher or the siege hero type. You're actually going to have a great composition. You're going to be able to do this very, very early, early into the game, especially because they outrange the towers. So keep this in mind, guys. The tower mechanic is going to be very, very vital to the strategy in Blizzard All Stars. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether or not you liked it, whether or not yeah, you think the old tower mechanic works much better, uh, simply hanging back and hugging the towers. Regardless of your opinion, definitely let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the series, subscribe to the YouTube uh, my YouTube channel, like the video, follow me on Twitter, at Sixin. Otherwise, next week's video is going to be about the jungling mechanics in Blizzard All-Stars, so specifically the new neutral camp mechanics. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for the support, and take it easy.